Four chefs are about to go dashing through the supermarket on one wild culinary ride. Let's meet them. First up, Claude Beltran, chef and owner of The Eatery in Pasadena, California. Next up, Aram Reed, a Cordon Bleu grad and event caterer from Chicago, Illinois. Then we've got Amy Barnes, a cooking instructor and mother of two from Scottsdale, Arizona. And finally, Jason Febres, executive chef and owner of Taste and See Restaurant in Wichita, Kansas. Chefs, welcome, very nice to have you. We have got three very intense challenges with all kinds of surprises, twists and turns around every corner. You ready? Yes. I have some spending money for you. Huh, how much? Uh, you got about a $6.97 here. That's what we like to call this game, Budget Battle. <laughs> Look on your cutting boards. Coupons. Coupons. All right, grab your money, grab your coupons, to the carts. $6.97. You got to go through the register every time. Hey. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Uh, I decided that I was going to make this elevated grilled panela cheese with a tomato soup. I know the panela is expensive. You know, $6.97 is going to be tough. I'm going to make a three cheese grilled cheese. We got a sharp cheddar. If I can use more cheese than everybody else, then great. For my grilled cheese, I have two colors of onions because I think that they both tend to be nice and sweet together. I really want to cook this grilled cheese in an oven because if you butter the bread, it gets like a crunchy crouton. And it's not so soggy like it would be stovetop. But I'm starting to get worried about my onions. I'm going to make a Cuban-style grilled cheese sandwich with Gruyere cheese, arugula, pickles, and Texas bread. I couldn't grab pulled pork, and bacon was the best substitute for that and for the ham. So I rolled the bacon, put it in skewers, and deep fried them right away. I know you need me up here. Got the cheese in it, got the cheese on it, and uh, started to pan sear it, because I know people love burnt cheese. Come on. The clock is ticking, and I still have to throw the cheese on the grill. Please stop. When I go to flip the cheese over, it's sticking. Oh my goodness, that cheese is on the grill and uh, it's 30 seconds. It's all right, it's okay. 20 seconds. Just get it on the plate, Claude. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. Woo! Chef Jason. I did a deconstructed Cubano. I did bacon instead of ham. The pickles, of course, are present. We have some arugula for color. For the cheese, I went for Gruyere on a Texas toast. Next up, Chef Amy, what do you have? Uh, today, I did an oven-baked uh, grilled cheese, and I did it with just a little bit of sauteed onion, and I've got pepper jack cheese, just to give it a little bit of a punch. Um, I just have a little bit of rosemary in with the onions. Up next, Chef Darum, what do you have for us? Uh, I did a little uh, outrageous three cheese grilled cheese. What I did was I put cheese on the outside as well as in the inside. So you have a cheese, bread, cheese, bread, cheese. Chef Claude. Um, I know that panela will not melt. I actually took the cheese, oiled it, and actually grilled it. And I elevated it on some Texas toast. And then I made a chipotle infused tomato soup. We wish that everybody had a chance, especially during the holidays, to stay and play. But unfortunately, someone has to check out. The chef that will be leaving us will be... Chef Amy. Congratulations, chefs. You are on to game two. I want you to make your most unusual dessert. And we're going at three. We're going at two, one, and we're go! They're off. Wow, Jay gets a jump. I'm going to make peach compote stuffed green tea mochi. Then I came across goat cheese. Goat cheese right here. I'm going to make a bacon wrapped churro with uh, ginger caramel. Sour cream's right there. I grabbed it. I want to do a duet of desserts with those filo cups. I can do one side bourbon, chocolate, and one side strawberry whipped cream. I put my bourbon in the sauce pot, add some sugar, put it on a nice heat, 
I start to reduce it. While that's reducing, I start working on my cream, get that to a nice stiff peak. I'm gonna take those mochis and empty them, and I'm gonna restock them with peaches. So I, I throw the peaches in a pan, and I add a ginger, sugar, water, and for a nice, silky touch, I added some butter. So I'm working on the caramel. Come on, caramel. As soon as it's the right color, you add the cream, and that stops the process of turning brown. And then I add my pickled ginger. I think my dish needs a little bit of crunchiness. I remember seeing puff faces. So I just threw it in the deep fryer and pretty much prayed to get a good result out of it. One minute. I love the fact that these guys are paying so much attention to plating because that's what separates a chef like them and a cook like me. 10 seconds. Eight, Look seven, at that plating six, for Aaron. five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, chef. Oh. Chef Aram, you're up first. What do you got for us? I did a little duet of desserts today. On your left, you will see a chocolate, bourbon, and blueberry. On the right-hand side, cream with strawberry, bourbon reduction, and some crisp bacon on top. Chef Claude, what do you have for us? My inspiration today was uh, two things that I love. Bacon, churros, with some sour cream and sugar, and then filled that in with a little blueberry sauce. Next up, Chef Jason. I started with a mochi, an Asian mochi dough, and I stopped it with a peach and ginger compote. Also, I serve on the side of that a goat cheese and black sesame cheesecake cream. Chefs, the judges have made their decision. Now, unfortunately, one of you has to check out. The chefs staying to compete in game three will be Chef Claude. And Chef Aram. Jason. I'm sorry, you are checked out. Chef Claude, Chef Aram, Triple G, going big in the holidays. Now, game three, make a holiday meal with one entree and two sides. In three, two, one, go! So I'm planning on making a turkey strip, and I'm thinking for a traditional holiday meal. You gotta have potatoes. Ah. <laughs> A green bean sauteed, no time at all. Taking a big old steak. I wanted to do a beautiful mustard crusted ribeye. Ribeye. With a nice porcini cream sauce, celery puree, shaved Brussels sprouts, and maybe a little chard. The mushrooms, mustard. I start the celery root first, because that's a tougher vegetable to break down. Ribeye. I throw in the Brussels sprouts and get it in the oven. But it's the perfect side dish to the steak. $20,000 would change a lot of things for me personally, for what I can do for my family. I have one more person left to beat, and then I'm going for the money. I take my potatoes, and rather than mashing them, I decide to hit an immersion blender with them to make them a little bit looser, like a nice puree. And then I'm looking at the mushrooms. I'm gonna just cook it down, almost to the point where you can get some textures, but I'm gonna make them as crispy as possible. Two minutes! And Claude just threw down the Swiss chard. That's mm -hmm. cutting it close. 90 seconds! That is sexy. Oh, yeah. You're done. One minute. Claude's a really refined chef, but he's not going to make it. 30 seconds. Where's that spoon? Where's that spoon? 30 seconds. Come on, Claude. Come on. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, oh, come four. Come on. Come on. Get it. Three, on, two, one. Stop working. Ooh. I pan seared uh, New York steak, salt and pepper. I took the Brussels sprouts and the celery root and roasted them off. I made a sauce out of the uh, cremini mushrooms, uh, the beef stock. I added a little bit of mustard, every one of those vegetable elements, and deep fried them and sprinkled them over the top. Now, Chef Aram, what do you have for us? So uh, what I put together was a nice little turkey breast. I seared it, and then I had to sort of break it down and then throw it in the fryer to give it a nice little crisp on the outside. We have some uh, porcini mushrooms, some uh, haricot vert, and a potato smash underneath. In the holiday battle royale, game three, the chef that will stay to play for the opportunity of collecting up to $20,000 will be... Chef Claude. <sighs> <sighs> A shot at the big bucks in the super shopping spree. In my hand is a list of 10 items. You'll have two minutes to find as many items as you can. Every item that you place in the cart is worth $2,000. You get all 10 items. 
you win $20,000. Three, two, one, hit it! All right. Go, chocolate syrup, 6,000 bucks. Sparkling cider, nice, 8,000 bucks. Almonds. One minute. Almonds. So let's go, chef. The Sonic vinaigrette, five, four, get in the basket. Two, one, stop. Rain up in here oh with 5,000 bucks. Yes. There you go, buddy. <laughs> the Triple G <laughs> chip. This guy awesome. just fucked the house. Awesome. $21,000. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Dude. You the man. You the man.